For every one dollar donated to a streamer on this Minecraft SMP, one block of trash was removed from this island made completely out of trash. And this is how I broke the entire server. All the money the SMP got would go straight to Mr. Beast's Team C's charity. So when the event was about to begin, my business partner Redunes and I thought to ourselves, well, if one dollar equals one less trash equals charity, then how do we maximize the amount of money we make so that we could look insanely epic and, you know, also to save the ocean. Well, get this, the trash block seemed to be unbreakable on first glance and everyone thought they were, but it was only when I logged on the SMP that the resource pack they used failed to load since my Wi-Fi sucks. That meant for a split second, I saw that the trash blocks were simply retextured Minecraft Obsidian, which was when my co-founder Redunes said to me, well, Ash, if Crash is just Obsidian, we can just make more. And I said, Redunes, you genius. He was right. If we could make Crash on the server, that would mean more donations and more money. But there were some big problems. Four issues to be specific. Number one, the only way to get any items on the server was if viewers donated loot crates to you. And since both Red and I didn't stream and the donations were more expensive than a Lamborghini in 2005, it'd be very difficult to get even the simplest materials, which leads to number two. If materials were limited, Limited, that would mean the amount of trash we produce would also be limited. That's not good. And speaking of not good, number three, the admins. They would not appreciate our money exploit, even if it was for charity. Which leads to number four, if other players realized our secret, we'd lose all advantages and could even get hunted down. But this is where everything changed. Before the event even began, Redunes and I began brainstorming ways to create obsidian, or in this case, trash. And we know that Minecraft obsidian is simply lava and water combined. Water was available around us since we were on an island, and the next question was lava. Which is when Redunes realized that in 1.17, using grip stone and a cauldron, we could create an infinite lava source with just one block, and that, folks, was our breakthrough. One minute before the SMP began, we hopped on another server we were on and decided to test our theory. We put cauldrons down, dripstone in the middle, and a lava block on top, and after a few minutes, this is what happened. So oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Our theory was right. We could make infinite lava and therefore infinite trash and therefore infinite donations and become the richest members on the server. Until... Illegal substances in oh. my server. Uh, no. The owner was onto us. We didn't reveal anything, but we needed to work quickly and get started on making the farm on the SMP. Step one was collecting resources, so we scavenged other people's loot crates, got the essentials, and left spawn to establish our base of operation. But as soon as we were leaving spawn, we were followed by Parrot and his friends. But remember, problem number four, other players. We couldn't afford to be tailed by anyone, so we outran them and decided to set up shop in an underwater cave. This was the best choice since we would be shielded by the water and was the only place we could freely mine for ore. You see, loot crates could only drop at spawn, so we decided to split up. I began clearing out the base while Redunes continued scavenging the crates for better items and once we were ready and made sure nobody followed us it was time to make the farm there were two aspects to our plan the lava generation then the lava collection followed by the obsidian conversion and finally the obsidian mining my handwriting is incredible don't judge version one of our lava farm needed cauldrons pointed dripstone and at least one lava block and since iron was more common than insincere twitter apologies we were good on cauldrons and buckets but we needed dripstone that we still couldn't find which is when we saw that the homie jaren found an underwater dripstone cave and generously gave his supply to us making him the first outside player to know about our secret we put our trust in him and with all our stuff ready, it was time to test out version 1 of the Swag Dunes trash facility. But it wasn't working. We waited for over 15 minutes and still the cauldron wouldn't fill up with lava even though it was dripping. Now this confused us because it worked perfectly fine on the other SMP oh, we had oh, tested oh. the farm in before this one, which is when I realized we had another problem. You see, a tick is when Minecraft refreshes its game and this depends on the amount of players on the server. Our cauldron dripstone lava farm depended on game ticks and only had a 5.9% chance of fully filling up the cauldron, which basically means more players online equal less lava produced. And like my therapist tells me every month, that was not stonks. And one Cauldron takes an average of one whole Minecraft day to fill. On top of that, we had to manually take out lava, manually place it next to the water, and manually farm the obsidian. In business, we call all of this inefficient. We needed to solve both these problems, and we needed to solve them fast, because people were catching on. The first step to solving our efficiency problems was the lava farm. Since there was nothing we could do about the dripping thing, though, we had to work when the server was least active to increase the odds of the cauldron filling up. Which is good, because I hated socializing anyway. Thank you, thank you, I'll be here all night. Another thing we did was simply increase the the amount of cauldrons for added efficiency. Big brain, right? But the obsidian farm on the other hand was still pretty bad. There wasn't much we could do except enchant our pickaxes with efficiency. But problem, we didn't have an enchanting table. So we had to secretly use one in another base. But because we did that, we just attracted more curious people who wanted to know what we were up to. Redune and Ash are making more trash for a damn. They're basically evil. Folks, the problems just kept on coming. I didn't have time to justify to these people that I was doing this for charity because we had bigger problems. You see, the owner wanted to meet us and see what what we were doing. And after I explained to him what our plan was, I thought for sure he would either ban us or tell us to stop. But you want to know what he said, huh? 
He said this. You guys can keep said, wasting your time because I, I think this is going to fail. That just made us want to do it even more. The race to prove the owner wrong had just begun. And this was no longer about the turtles or whales. This was about my pride. You see, the Swag Dunes factory was now making one trash per two minutes with an efficiency of 0.8%. But after the owner, Mr. Clown Pierce, said this. You didn't need a lot more than this. We did exactly that. We completely revamped our method and now used a minecart system to optimize lava collection, doubling our efficiency. Oh, what's that you ask? Did we end there? Absolutely not. We realized that there were still two things limiting us. Number one, obsidian was still not optimized. And number two, we need more space. So we built an entirely new island outside the main one and created a massive factory for all our trash baking operations. And just like that, folks, we were in business. <laughs> The final Swag Dunes factory consisted of a lava station which was a railway track with a minecart that one of us could semi-AFK and generate lava buckets which would fall down into an elaborate hopper system that swoops it into a dispenser downstairs. This dispenser would automatically create obsidian meaning one person could yes fully AFK breaking trash that would all collect into this massive double chest below meaning our efficiency went from 1.6 before to over 30% or almost half a stack every minute or $30 that goes directly to save the stupid ocean every single minute. We were ready to show the rest of the server. What? What the hell is that? Oh my god. What, what did you just <laughs> build here? But we still had one last person we needed to show. So, what do you think? This is awesome. How'd, how'd you guys do this this fast? We're businessmen. <laughs>